Technically, this is breaking news, but it's also the worst kept secret in Formula 1. Adrian Newey will join Aston Martin next year after leaving Red Bull in what is a five-year deal. Let's get straight into this, no messing about. We've known for some time that Adrian Newey's next destination was likely to be Aston Martin. But at 65, you would forgive Newey for maybe calling it a day. But instead, he's gone and signed a five-year deal, supposedly worth about £30 million. So, wow. Newey will be leading a team of top-level people, which will be incredibly important for the Formula 1 rules into 2026. Aston Martin have kind of flattered to deceive in the past few years. And in some respects, they've got... Well, not even in some respects. They have gone backwards this year. They certainly need something if they're going to challenge towards the front of the grid and achieve what Lo Lauren Stroll has tried to do with the team over the past couple of years. Aston Martin have invested heavily, not just in people, but infrastructure with a new factory and, most importantly, their new wind tunnel, which will definitely be critical for their success going forward. Andy Cowell, who previously worked as the managing director at Mercedes, has joined the team. You'll probably know his name from the Mercedes powertrain division. He'll become Aston Martin's chief executive from next month. They've also just recruited Enrico Cardiel from Ferrari, who will be the chief technical officer. And they already have the very talented Dan Fallows, who joined from Red Bull in 2022. And maybe Newey will be the missing piece. Dan Fallows worked under Adrian Newey during his time at Red Bull, and when he joined Aston Martin, he became technical director. And to some extent, he was able to step away on his own. I'm just curious how he will feel seeing his old mentor, you know, follow him, and if that will overshadow his current position. Ultimately, the car hasn't been good enough. And I'm not blaming that on Fallows or saying that Newey can make up, you know, a magic wand, but Lauren Stroll wants results, and... He isn't afraid to make the big calls to get that, unless, of course, that involves replacing his son as a driver. Ultimately, Aston Martin makes sense to Newey in terms of his life because it's so close to the Red Bull factory. He won't need to uproot his life, um, which might have played a big factor in his decision. I'm sure those £30 million certainly helped as well. We do now know, though, that Ferrari spoke to him and Frederick Rousseur has said that they just didn't have the same view. This is what he said. There were discussions with Newey, but probably his ideas were different than what I had in mind for him. Maybe one day we'll find common ground. But as I said, it's not one person who changes the outcome of a team. The group is always stronger than the individual. From what's being reported, Newey wanted far more control over Ferrari's development than Rousseur wanted to give. And because of that, they couldn't find a middle ground. In another world, we could have seen Newey at Ferrari. So it's not like Newey just dismissed Ferrari. He did speak to them. Ultimately, they couldn't agree on exactly what his role would be. Obviously, at Aston Martin, he's been given a lot more freedom. Also, perhaps the idea of moving to Italy and maybe having to learn Italian and these sorts of things just wasn't something he was interested in. It would have been something, though, to see Adrian Newey design a Ferrari, especially one that would then be driven by Hamilton. That would have been something you wouldn't have had on your bingo card a few years ago. We also know that Adrian Newey has close ties to Aston Martin already after working on the Aston Martin Valkyrie, the incredible supercar, before working on Red Bull's own supercar. So the relationship with Aston Martin was already there, and I imagine that sort of road car relationship will continue now he's signed on with the team. Will Newey be the piece of the puzzle that Aston Martin need? Well, there are a few factors. We know that Newey is a car design master, and that's not to be debated, but... It's worth remembering that in 2026, Aston Martin will be powered by Honda, ending their relationship with Mercedes. There is no way of knowing which engine manufacturer is going to come out on top yet. So that will hugely impact how competitive the car is going to be. If Honda nail it, then that will be great. But if Honda don't nail it and one of the other engine manufacturers nail it, we could be seeing another blowout season akin to the early you know, 2010s, 2014, I think it was, when Mercedes dominated with the new engine regs. Sadly, we're at a point now where we've just got a really, really close formula and it's all about to change again. It's the way of Formula One. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick update on the Adrian Newey situation. We've got a race weekend coming up at Baku. My race guide will be out tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.